In our first story, former President Jean Germani Mahama has blamed the Finance Minister Ken Foyata for the country's economic woes. Now, according to him, the President's seeming inability to remove Mr. Foyata from office is making the situation worse. Speaking in a lecture on the economy on Thursday, he stressed that the incompetence of the sector minister and the entire Akufado regime account for the depreciation of the CD and the other economic challenges plaguing the country. I miss boastful claims that they were the best managers of the economy. Immediately after the elections, it became clear that we had been thrown into a bottomless pit of debt round our necks, staggering budget deficits and a rapidly deteriorating fiscal position. The looming disaster at the time required an urgent response. And even as the crisis deepened, earlier this year, we in NDC besieged government with many prescriptions, which are articulated in the Ghana at the Crossroads speech in May this year. And I urge government to seek multilateral assistance urgently. Among others, I also called on President Akufuado to expeditiously convene a national dialogue on the economy, at which the best and brightest minds of our nation would be brought together to huddle and formulate a robust response to the challenges confronting us. I guess that is too late now. I re-echo demands by Ghanaians that the finance minister and the chair of the economic management team who have been primarily responsible for this economic catastrophe should be relieved of their positions to breed confidence among stakeholders and offer the economy a new lease of life. I ask the president to deploy some of the arsenals from the presidential toolkit and reshuffle his government to inject innovation and freshness of thinking into the running of the country. I also ask that the president address the nation to inform the public about the specific steps that he was intending to take to turn the condition around. This address was meant to calm the anxiety of the investor community and rally Ghanaians behind any such effort that he was willing to take. Regrettably, the president dug in and failed to do any of these suggestions. Let me note that since this event was advertised last weekend, I have been made aware that the president intends to address the nation sometime over this weekend. It is my prayer that his words would strike the right chords in the hearts of Ghanaians. Since my speech in May, the situation has spiraled out of control and the effects have been calamitous for all of us. There is a temptation to say, I told you so, and that temptation is very strong. But we do not believe that this is the time for vainglorious pursuit of vindication. And neither is there room for gloating over the current predicament.